Hey everybody, I'm down at the toy store. It's finally Friday! The weekend is here and we are starting off the day filling some eBay orders from last night. And I know it feels like eBay is kind of becoming all consuming. I have a feeling that eBay is going to take up a pretty significant amount of time. But that's not a bad thing, right? If you're selling, you're making money. So let's go ahead and jump into what we sold on eBay last night. Let's start it off with a bang. We've got a Marvel Legends series Spider-Man. This is the black suit. I'm not sure what the technical name of the toy is, but check out this box. It is glossy, shiny. It looks really good. And whoever picked this up got a good deal on this as well. We sold a couple figs. Let's start it off with the Toonie Terrors Megan. We still have quite a few of these left. Just a neat little fig. Toonie Terrors Megan. Jack Skellington made an appearance. We've sold quite a few of these over the last couple days. Really popular fig. Good box on this too. I shouldn't say box, but good packaging, easy to ship, Jack Skellington. The next order was a little surprising. Somebody bought five Lugias. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna get those all wiped down, make sure there's no scuffs. And there you go, five Lugias the eBay orders from last night. It's been a pretty slow day down at the toy store. I've been working on eBay listings. I've been cleaning up some shelves, trying to straighten things up around the shop. And I thought to myself, self, it's been a while since we've done viewer comments. I thought it might be fun to jump into some viewer comments. Not much else really going around the shop. We are in a holding pattern pattern we are in a holding pattern until we get our next truck now there wasn't very much up today for trucks nothing really worth bidding on we are doing target overstock auctions target seems to have the best stuff but not a real update there so let's do some viewer comments no particular order here i'm just going to start at the top i won't shout out any names and if I need to, I'll sum the comments up a little bit. That way you guys don't have to struggle watching me read comments. But here we go. First one, I know you don't have a lot of storage, but have you thought about holding back the Christmas stuff until September? And goes on to talk about possibly storing seasonal items in a storage unit or somewhere in the back. So the answer or kind of my reply to that is, we do have a storage unit now. My brother rented a storage unit across the street here. If you're looking this way, I don't know if we'll be able to see it, but we do have a storage unit over there. We did take several boxes, and by several, I mean a bunch of boxes, moved it over to the storage unit. So long answer, we have a storage unit and we will probably be holding seasonal items appropriately. Next on the list says, hey, you're doing awesome. Hope you keep the YouTube channel going after you find success. The reply to that, the YouTube channel is not going anywhere. We're gonna keep posting. I'm gonna keep trying to post daily. Even when I go back to work Monday for the railroad, I'll be working six to two during the day, Monday through Friday. I'll come in here in the evenings. I'll still try to shoot content. Then I'll try to edit the videos. The YouTube channel is not going anywhere. I really enjoy the YouTube channel. It's a big part of my life. It keeps me on my little path of sobriety, keeps me busy. The YouTube channel is not going anywhere. The next comment kind of pertains to the 299 bin and the stuffed animals. If anyone remembers, we did a video saying, hey, I might move the 299 bin. But the comment basically says, I like the 299 bin up front. I like having access to the stuffed animals right here. And I'm guessing this might be one of my regular customers. I'll have to look again at the name, but I'm in agreement 100%. The 299 bin looks really good right here. The stuffed animals are fine right here. And I added some stuffed animals to the bins kind of on the side there. I think I was trying to dig into the, do we have goals for the toy store this year? X amount of toys, X amount of money, just trying to survive. And I generally don't talk numbers on the channel but we are, we are doing very well here. The biggest question is, when will I make the transition from the railroad to the toy store? Because that's kind of part of it. That could happen now. I could leave the railroad 
work at the toy store full time and not miss a beat on anything. It's just, we're giving it a little bit more time. As far as toys sold, we're doing 1,500 to 2,000 toys every two to three weeks on our trucks. Now, does that mean we sell that many toys? Maybe, I mean, we need toys. We could already use another toy load. The toy store is doing very well and the eBay has already started picking up. I wouldn't give specific numbers, but let's just leave it at that. Okay, the next one was about the Hollywood Hogan entrance song, Voodoo Child by Jimi Hendrix. I had originally put on the comment, American Made, or I can't remember the name of his first song. I'm a real American. This was off one of the eBay videos. It talks about resizing and sourcing boxes. Sounds like a challenge. It is a challenge. It really is making boxes slows the process down to a halt. We have ordered some boxes. We've got them in the shop now. The next comment really made me laugh, smile a little bit. It was about the FAO, the FAO Schwartz. If you don't know what I'm talking about, when I first started making the videos, I just thought it was FAO Schwartz. Someone said, hey, it's FAO, but it's kind of a running gag here on the channel. FAO Schwartz and that was a good comment, I like that one. Let's dig into the next one. Have you considered selling action figures loose if the packages are very dinged, messed up? There's a few figures on eBay you're interested in, but shipping almost as much as the figure makes it difficult to make the purchase. That is a possibility, so I will keep that in mind. I wanna jump off of that a little bit. As far as the shipping being expensive, yes, so we are trying to work out a way to do free shipping on our stuff, on our toys, and still keep the toy at a reasonable price. Give us some time. We're pretty good at working through these things and we will figure something out. Comment on the list was just did an order for that Lou Gift Fig. I've wanted one of those forever. Glad to see you have an option to buy. Thank you for your order. I appreciate everybody that tunes in, everyone that supports. If you see something you like on eBay, I appreciate that. I appreciate all the support. The next one has to do with, hey, the eBay's going good, gaining momentum, but they mentioned that Spider-Man merchandise outdoes all the other merchandise combined. I don't know if that's how I wanna say that. Spider-Man merch is number one. That's what I'm getting out of that comment. Outdoes everybody. All right, another one I appreciate when people help me out here. It is called Laird. Laird, L-A-I-R-E-D, Laird. Thank you. And my mom <laughs> threw in a comment here. I don't see the eBay link. Mom, it's in the description below. The eBay link in the description below. I had someone comment on the day one versus day 120. It says minute marker 512. That's where I discovered the channel and the journey. Again, thank you everybody. If you haven't seen that video, we have come a long, way since we first opened the doors. A few more and we'll call it a video. This one I thought was kind of interesting. It says, make sure you are not using the same bank account as your store account for your eBay. That's not a bad idea. I didn't think about that so much. Have your payments going somewhere else that nobody has access to and then move them over to your bank account because it says that refunds will come right out of your account. So that's something I need to think about. I need to talk with my brother. We might have to do something different. Had a few customers come in, just lock the doors, closing time. I'm ready to kind of get out of here and get something to eat. So we'll go through these. I hadn't realized it had been so long since we've done viewer comments. Lots of comments about eBay. Hey, what's the eBay link? Link the eBay store. So I did take care of that, got the eBay linked up. Lots of great advice about eBay. Lots of things I didn't know that I've been looking into and using. There are a few questions in here about the displays. Do customers leave random things on the shelves? The answer is yes, absolutely. After a real busy day, you can go through here and things are kind of just wherever they land. That doesn't bother me that much. The store has a little bit of organization, but for the most part, the sections are very fluid. I guess that would be the word I'm gonna use. The last comments I kinda wanna go over have to do with the store sales. I think people enjoyed seeing what we sell for a day, what went through the store, because a lot of times I'm just showing what's going in, right? Not what's going out. I really enjoyed doing the sales videos. 
Let me know down in the comments below what type of videos you like best. Do we like to do the eBay videos? Do we like when the new toys come in? What about what's going out? Store walkthroughs or just maybe a hodgepodge of everything. I'm really interested to see what everybody thinks. That's gonna be a video. I don't say it very often, but if you've made it this far, please like, please share, please subscribe. It helps the channel tremendously. And I want everyone to know I really appreciate you tuning in. Until next time, I will see you later. Peace.